Hey, it's Mr. Barr, and let's do some work. We'll do Line Genie. Let's do Line Genie. Graph the following linear equation. Decide what method you will use, and check it with the answer key. Okay, so this first one, I'm going to use, I'm going to use mini-me's on it. You with me on mini-me's? So I have negative 3x equals 12. So x equals negative 4. And I have, I'm going to pause this and sharpen my pencil. And I'm back. And let's see, my other equation would be 4y equals 12. So y equals 3. OK, so there are my intercepts. I have an intercept at negative 4 on the x and 3 on the y. And let's check that answer. And let's reset it. And let's actually draw a line this time. Negative 4, 3. And now we'll check it again. And we're good. Cool. Next problem. All right, this one, I'm also going to use mini-me's on this. So I have 2x. You know, yeah, I can't do mini-me's. So I have 2x equals 15, which means x equals 7.5. This is number 2. And I have 5y equals 15, which means y equals 3. So I have 7.5 and 3, and I can graph a 7.5 on this x equals 7.5, y equals 3, check it, looking good, next problem. Oh, this is a slope intercept equation, so I can just graph this one, start at 4, and go down 2 over 1, check it, nice. All right, I'm going to do mini me's on this one. So this is number four, and I have x equals four, and I have negative two y equals four. So y equals negative two. So I have x equals four, and y equals negative two. x equals four, y equals negative two. Looking good. Number five, so this one, I know you want to do mini-me's. I'm not going to do a mini-me on this one because I'll show you why I'm not going to do a mini-me. Because if I do negative 3x equals 8 and I divide both sides by negative 3, I'm going to get x equals, what's that going to be, negative 2.6 repeating. I think that's right. Let me check that math. And how I can't graph a negative 2.6 repeating. So I need to do a move the x divide by the y on this one. So here we go, move the x divide by the y. It's not hard, so give it a try. Then you have to simplify. Okay, negative 3x plus 4y equals 8. Move the x. Divide by the y. Then you have to simplify. And now it's in slope intercept form, and now I can graph it. So I'm going to go with a 2, and I'm going to go move the x. I'm going to go down 3 over 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't. Something's weird. Something's weird. Where did I lose? I lost something. Move the x. Divide by the y. 
mini-me's would say that the intercept is at negative 2.33. I don't, something's off, something is off. Check my answer. It's wrong. What am I missing? Move the x, divide by the y. Because I went down, I, I, oh, oh my goodness, okay. How about graphing a line in slope intercept form? Let's start at two, and how about this? Let's go up three over four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. There we go, that's it. It'd be awesome if I could graph using slope intercept form. Okay, number six, y equals x. Well, this guy has a, a here, I'll show you what's going on here. This is number, Number six, it's really y equals one over one x plus zero. So slope intercept form, start at zero, start at zero, up one over one. There we go, check it, looks good. Little slope intercept action here, start at negative two, up four over one, one, two, three, four over one. Good. Number eight is x equals four, which is just a horizontal, a vertical line at x equals, oh, reset. There we go, check that answer. And we are good, that's it for today. Did I get 100%? There's my 100%. All right, hey, thanks for watching and have a good day.